Hey everybody, good morning. This is Casey Starlong and welcome to today's breakfast. Hope that you had a great weekend. So if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, I want to welcome you. So my name is Casey Starlong and my husband and I, we pastor a church here in St. Louis. And what I try to do occasionally is do something where I call it today's breakfast, where I share a word from the Lord to the body of Christ to just encourage you. And I try to do it within five minutes or less. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop right into today's message. And so I'm calling today's message, what is God saying? What is God saying? And um, this morning while in prayer, God began to just speak to me. And actually he began to download some things last night uh, when I just spent some time in prayer. Um, God began to talk about how he is revealing strategies and how he's revealing his heart and um, the, the way how it will be revealed is by us spending time with him. I have found myself in a season where I'm asking God, God, what are you saying? That if I see something, I'm asking God, what does this mean? And um, honestly, God is not giving the answer quickly. Um, I'm finding myself having to really go to a place of prayer and to ask God and to say, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm seeing this happen. You know, I'm reading about this in the news. God, what are you saying? Lord, what does this mean? What should I do? How should I react? How do you want me to pray? about this situation. And God began to just speak to me that he's revealing strategy. He's giving his revelation and it's going to come from us spending time with him. I'm reminded of the scripture. I believe it's Jeremiah 29 and 13 and the message version really declares it so clearly. It says that when you really get serious about me, when you really seek me with your whole heart, that's when you're going to find me. So this is what the Lord is saying in this season. But there are some things that God desires to show you. There are some things that God desires to provide clarification that, that he desires to give you great revelation, but it's only going to come forth. It's only going to come forth by you spending intentional time with him in prayer. So think it not strange when God begins to just touch your heart and say, you know what? Um, at this time, this is the time where I'm going to have an appointment with God. And, you know, at that time, you know, it's just time carved away on your schedule where God is going to speak and where God is going to download things in your heart. I want to give you an example. Last night, I came across um, a Facebook event that's taking place here in St. Louis. And um, when I saw the event, I became so grieved. Um, the event featured um, some very influential women in St. Louis, um, African American women. And um, it's an event where um, it's definitely it's not Christian based. It's really new age. And I became so grieved in my spirit because I see how many people are being deceived um, by the occult and by witchcraft and by new age, basically false religions coming in and encroaching um, into Christianity. Um, and I was looking at this uh, Facebook event and I saw how there were several Christians that had RSVP to this event. And so um, I began to talk to God and say, you know, why am I getting so grieved? I found myself getting so upset. Um, and God began to just speak to me and reveal to me, like, Casey, this is where I'm taking you. Um, I'm, I'm bringing you to a higher level of authority where you will get angry, where you will get upset with seeing the people of God being deceived by false religions. And so, okay, Asia said, explain new age. Asia, um, an example of new age, um, it's a false religion um, and uh, really new age. Uh, they are all about themselves. It's really where they make themselves a God. And um, it sounds really good. Um, they might talk about a higher power. They might talk about believing in yourself. Um, they might talk about um, inner healing. I mean, it all sounds great, but they never mention Jesus Christ. OK, they might mention God, they might mention a higher power, but they never mention Jesus Christ. And some of these people, you just need to ask them, uh, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the is the one and the only way to get to God? 
Um, but a lot of popular talk show hosts, they are new age believers. Um, they believe in meditation. They believe in uh, yoga. Um, they believe in like mind control, mindfulness. Um, they, they talk a lot about self-care. Um, but with their self-care, they never acknowledge the power of Jesus Christ. They never acknowledge the power of God. They might talk a lot about humanity, which sounds really great, but they are never ever uh, giving glory to Jesus Christ as the one and the only way to God. Um, and so if anybody else has um, any other explanation of new age, um, uh, you know, please feel free to, to post on this comment. But there are a lot of new age believers, especially in the African American community right here in St. Louis, um, that are encroaching on Christianity where it sounds good that um, they might even be referencing a book in the Bible, um, but it is not it is not of God. And so we know that um, if we look at the, the Bible, 1 John chapter 4, where it talks about test the spirit by the spirit. Test the spirit. Ask God. God, give me discernment. God, open up my eyes. You know, let me let me really see uh, what's happening behind the scenes, right? Lord, uh, Lord, make sure that I know exactly what this is. Um, and you know, God will reveal. God, God will reveal. And so, we just really want to be alert. We really want to be informed in this season. And so, you know, I've been asking God, well, I see that this is happening. And I was talking to my husband last night. He's like, Casey, this ain't nothing new. He's like, you know, the new age, they've been encroaching on Christianity since the 80s okay well I'm you know I'm I'm seeing it right now okay and you know I'm just like oh my gosh but I understand that you know God is putting this on my heart as a burden and so we remember we don't fight against flesh and blood um, we fight against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places so I began to say well God what is the strategy and so God began to say you know well pray pray against the spirit of unbelief pray against the spirit of deception pray for salvation pray that souls will come to Jesus. And so God is continuing to give me a strategy. There are some people um, that he's placed on my heart for me to just, you know, really um, just pray for, pray for their hearts, that they will come into the understanding and the knowledge, the true knowledge of Jesus Christ. And so um, one of the things that I want to invite each and every one of you into, especially those that live in St. Louis, this Friday, we are having a monthly prayer meeting this will actually be our last prayer meeting uh, for 2017. But on December the 1st, um, we are having our Win St. Louis Praise prayer me meeting from 7 until 9 o'clock. And it's going to take place at City Reach Church. And um, this is something God gave me um, at, the, at the beginning of the year uh, where myself, along with some other, other intercessors, uh, we did a prayer shut in at, in November 2016, where we shut in and we prayed for the city of St. Louis and we prayed for our nation. We prayed specifically against strongholds impacting our city like violence, like the spirit of murder, um, the spirit of racism. We prayed for racial reconciliation. We covered families. We covered children. We covered churches. We prayed for a spirit of evangelism and salvation. Um, we, we just, you know, Second Chronicles 7 and 14 is our scripture that we are standing on. And um, then in 2017, God said, you know what? I don't want this to just be a one-time thing. I want you to do this every month. And so for every month, different churches have opened up their doors where we have come together and we've prayed and we've invited the community and many people um, have come to pray with us month after month where we are just being steadfast and praying for God's perfect will for our city and for our nation. And so this Friday, the last Friday, um, well, it's the first Friday of the of the of the month um, for December, but it will be our last prayer meeting for 2017. I'm inviting you. I want you to come and pray. We're going to be praying. And I just believe that God is going to continue to give us strategies for our city, for our nation. He's going to give us strategies to reach the unsaved. He's going to give us strategies on how to pray against false religions, how to pray against a spirit of deception that's pulling in people. Um, he's just going to give us strategies on how to witness, how to go out and present the gospel truth to people. So that's from 7 until 9 o'clock. And it's going to be hosted at City 
you reach church. So it's going to be hosted at the church that me and my husband pastor, which is at 1321 South 11th Street, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. We're going to have child care. So if you have children, bring your children and they will be taught a lesson about prayer as well. And they'll have games. We'll have food. We'll make it really fun for the kids. But I want to invite you to come out um, to prayer because you know what? God is God is given strategies. He's given revelation through prayer. And I believe that when St. Louis prays, I believe that um, it's going to be, you know, um, something that is going to be modeled in other cities where we as a city, we've come together each month to specifically pray for our government, pray for our schools, pray for our nation, pray for our community, um, where we are being stand steadfast and really believing God's word in second Chronicles 7 and 14 if my people who were called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face ask for forgiveness God says I will forgive and I will hear and I will heal the land so I know that through the power of prayer God's going to do he's doing great things in the city of St. Louis so what is God saying God's saying pray God's saying, spend time with him. God is saying, open up your eyes, spend time with him. He's going to make sure that you have discernment, that he's going to make sure that you're not going to fall into deception by the enemy. Why? Because you're spending time with him and he's giving you strategies. He's giving you revelation and he's showing you the pits. He's showing you the falls um, that the enemy has placed out before you, before you even step into him. He's showing them to you and he'll do that through prayer. So that is the word that God gave me um, to release to the body of Christ today. I pray that it blesses you. I pray that I'll see you this Friday, um, December the 1st, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock um, for when St. Louis prays at City Reach Church. I'm going to post a flyer on my Facebook page. I'll post it in the comments um, just so you can see it and you can share it as well. All right, y'all. I took over my husband's little office today. So when he sees this video, he's going to laugh because I'm in his area. I'm in your area. All right, babe. All right. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you later. All right. Have a good one.